Confession time. I've made some strange videos. I admit that. This might be the strangest of all of them. Getting silver in the year 2020 from the ground, especially in public parks, is a massive challenge. You put a little extra pressure on yourself by giving yourself a number. Uh, for instance, with rings, I need to get 100 rings, and I'm currently at 91. Silver! Oh man, I, I, I like bit off way more than I can chew. I, I got uh, a goal of completely filling a silver box. And to help me with that goal, I invested in one of the most prolific silver pulling machines, uh, or so I've heard, on the market in the Mine Lab E-Track. Now, I fully intend on filling that box, but uh, I'm feeling the pressure. There's no doubt about it. And sometimes you do silly things to cope, you know, like put on a Sean Connery accent. I wield the Silver Slayer, and most of my videos are G or PG, and I know that a lot of you watch with your kids, which is awesome. You know, we're getting them into metal detecting. This one, by accident, uh, I'd rated PG-13. There's no, like, craziness, you know, cursing, nudity, anything like that. But between being in character as Sean Connery, and the stuff that we found. Yeah, this is this is going to be a memorable one. So preview it before you watch with your kids. Um, and I always intend to make them, you know, PG so that it's family. Uh, you'll see what I mean. What I mean. This just goes off on a PG-13 tangent. Darn you cat gods. Oh, and that driver. What are you thinking? What was he thinking? OMG. So basically me and my sister have been planting a few ideas in my dad's head about cat gods and They're filling a box real. of silver. Hopefully he doesn't find out about that. Yeah, very but, much is they not real. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, now he's kind of going a little crazy right now by filling up a box of silver. So... Um, like and sub if you want the world to be saved by him. I need silver! We're doing okay. I mean, I've got 12 pieces of silver since October started. Correction, we got 12 silver coins, but we have 16 pieces of silver that were found in total since October 1st. We're going for 100. And that's good. That will hopefully please the cat gods. But, um... We need more. We need to get to 100 by the end of the year at least. And uh, hopefully fill that box. New destination arrived. Let's find some skilva. Old trees, I like it. Lamp posts, okay. There's Jeff. Let's go say hi. Jeff plays a big role in this video and uh, he could do a pretty good Sean Connery accent too. Any Skilva? Something weird. I guess it's Wow. I think it's, I don't know, it looks like a penny that got squished, but it's got weird writing I can't make out. This is where we need smart people. This is just the first item that is, you could directly tie back to reproduction. And stay tuned, there's a trend of that in this video. Wow, this is like egg-shaped. <laughs> I'm on the egg. Does that unlock uh, egg sandwiches? Yeah. Look at this. I don't know what it is. It's got little writing. I gotta have to clean it and see. Wow, dude, that's an amazing find. I have no idea what it is. Oh, I can't wait to see what that yeah, is. Yeah, that's gonna be some cleaning. But yeah, it's got some, some writing up top gotta look up oval coins maybe or maybe a token of some sort yeah that's what i'm thinking this was a big uh this was a very old area native americans and then the early settlers so who the hell knows so you weird. find the best stuff he finds the best parks <laughs> oh man Let, let's dig all right medium to deep let's dig 
modern dim dim to start the day. Just to warn you, for a big part of the video coming up, I will be doing my Sean Connery accent. Starting now. Good heavens! We are on the wheat! Draw your sword and clash with the Wheaties. Draw we your sword! Wheat. There's my sword. The hand of God! I wield the hand of God and the Silver Slayer! Just a quick explanation. The, the, the hand of God, I named my digging tool the hand of God. Like, why wouldn't you name your digging tool the hand of God? Good and deep signal. Make it silver. He got, it is 1968. Hope you don't mind the Sean Connery. Uh, Non-wheat shent. What the hell is this? That's a really wacky button. Yeah, it is the loop. Wow. You think that's a button? Sorry, I'm clearly a fashion expert. That that that's that's not a button. I know it's got the loop, but it, this is so the weight on this. Sorry to grab it from no, you. No, no, don't worry about it, man. Um, the weight is it, this is lead. Who wears lead buttons? Maybe a James Bond villain. Old farmers. Old farmers with lead buttons. With accents like this. With accents like Sean Connery. That's really cool, man. It's All a right, nipple. On the board with a relic. I found a nipple. <laughs> you know, we're right by a lake, but uh, I don't know if there's fish in this lake. Then again, I don't fish. Blast it. Deep bottle cap. Now this is a silver slang sh signal. I screwed that up, darn it. Now this is a silver slang signal. There we go. All right, shut up and dig it. What the hell is this? It's like a hockey puck for a duck. It's got like sides that like, it's like a flask like thingy. It closes a flask. Although I probably have not drunk enough alcohol in my lifetime to like quantify it as that, but uh, that would be my guess. Either that or a duck's hockey puck. He is on the board. I'm happy for him. He was saying he's been having a drought. He got silver. All right, buddy. Mercantilism. <laughs> okay, look at his face. That is a detectorist right there. Hold on, I gotta give you a close up. This thing doesn't zoom. He, he's been fiending for silver. It's been days. It's been days. It's been days since I've laid my hands on the Skilva. Silver! Skilva! Pound that! Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. It was at about four to five inches. And now you got a hunting buddy right over now here. You will come here and scavenge with me. Yes, sir. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right, the numbers are good. Listen to the sound on this one. Okay, let's go. It's a dimmy. But the day is young. So this is a bucket lister. Wait a second. Maybe I did find one of these before. Ah, yeah, I did find. You know what? I was with you the last time I found one of these. Never mind. What is Wait it? Wait a second. No, it's a um it's English. A, no, no, no. This is a Kennedy. Oh, is it a half dollar? Yeah, and I found it. But, you know what, this is a bucket lister. 76. Seven, no, 1776, I was in a lot of movies then. <laughs> nice, man. It's a bucket lister. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, this is my only second half. No, that's not true, I found the silver halves. Second Kennedy half, and bicentennial. Bicent now, oh, it's that, perfect. that's a Sean Connery word, bicentennial. Yes. Nice job. Thank you. I'm feeling parched. I need to get my water bottle. I can only imagine how much shilva Jeff will pull while I'm gone. Hello, old tree. We will meet again. Excuse me, did I miss anything? Excuse me, how can I help you? Uh, did I miss anything? Did you find any shilva? I did not. I found some clad. Ah, I don't get pity. mad, I get clad. Well said, well said, sir. Thank you. 
It's a money penny. It's a quad demi. It's a quarter. He got. I'm on the wheat. He got. Once again, we are on the wheat. Oh man, another weedy. These are just tempting me. Uh, come on, let's get some silver. 1968 penny. Okay, the more I use this detector, the more I learn. You want to see something bizarre? Okay. So that's not bizarre. We got a signal, but watch this. I'm going to go over the same ground, super slow. Nothing. Nothing. It has a minimum swing speed. Nothing. Maybe that is why I'm missing reading it. This was another penny. So I've actually picked up the speed of my swing and I'm finding more. This is a 46, 47, 48. I'm calling silver right now. I meant to say I'm calling quarter right now. Money penny. You're you God, I'm on the wheat again. It's taunting me. I'm in love with this dirt. In love. 1978 penny. And here's where it all goes down. Be sure to pay close attention. A cock. You found a cock. <laughs> Good God, he found a cock. Somebody lost the cock in the dirt. Somebody. Holy shit. <laughs> you found a cock. <laughs> <laughs> what does a cock unlock? <laughs> KFC? <laughs> well, that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Where the hell did. This is heavy as shit. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? And it's got no feet. It is cock without feet. It is a proud cock. <laughs> pound. Wait, you pound that. <laughs> you want to pound my cock? We, we, we just made this uh, R-rated. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's all. It's everything's context. Great, right, right, right. Yeah. I got a good signal here. Right, Anywho. I'm going to stick around for the live dig. I'm, I'm finding the weirdest things. Yeah, this is a strange part. Oh, my God, it's another. It's a quarter. I also. W and a cock. W cock. <laughs> you got to find the T and the F. <laughs> a few points, all honest. At that moment, right there. That was an impressive. Okay. I had okay. envy. Dimmy, I'm not getting shut out today. No way. It's a quarter. 20 cents. Look at this. You're on fire today. Old door hinge from... That's like... Around the time before Sean Connery. If I was just a child. Just a child. I was a, a baby. Victorian. I would say Victorian. Victorian. Definitely old. Yes. I would keep this on the back burner. Uh, put it with the cock. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dimmy. Jeff is hanging out with geese. And soon he's gonna play Shaka football. You know, Shaka. Another clad dime, but where is the silver? It's a quarter. In my marrow status. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that, buddy. Congrats on that silver Thanks, and brother. and that uh <laughs> bye. <laughs> it's a quarter. Oh man, this is a test in patience. Which leads us to the question, what does a lock unlock? Quarter. Oh my god, the soccer game is over. It is making holes time. Actually, this is a good way to center a target. I've learned you can swing slow with this. I was just missing the target before. It's easy with this supersized coil. <laughs> It's Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I prefer Churchill. Good day, Abraham. All right, time to rethink the game plan here. Again, we're not going towards numbers. We are looking for depth, okay? So depth, that is what we are looking for. Okay, Deep Penny 1964, that's Silver Era. Okay, let's keep going. 
Are you kidding me? Look at this. What? Second time in two days. Is this Mercedes Benz? Okay, so this, the ring up. Look at this. 47. So that is a chance. Well, that's gotta be copper. That's number 92 on the year. Sweet. Yeah, this is not nearly as heavy as uh, the last one that I believe is gold. Um, number 92, we have unlocked Taco Bell. Dimmy, it's a quarter. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. Dimmy, it's a quarter. All right, I'm going back to where I was on the wheat. This is just puzzling me. That's not deep enough, no. All right, this is at least half a scale down. It was a deep memorial penny. Ah, dimmy. Back on the wheat. That's a quarter. You get the weirdest stuff in this park. Look at this. This is like an award or something? That was like rolled up. What the heck? Look at that. This is weedy torture. I have to tumble this, but what I think this is, is this is what is left, I could be wrong, of a, um, whatchamacallit, a war penny? 1943? Quarter. Give me standing liberty. Or give me dip. And both would be great. Okay, I think this is 1938 Canadian Penny. Well, well, it is. Look at that. It's the dude. No Queen Elizabeth there. It's the dude. The king! And some more wheat torture. Yeah, it's never torture. I like wheaties, but come on, man. Give me a silver. Tropical fantasy. Yes, please. Yeah, more weedy torture. Mickey Mouse. Thanks, Mickey. I appreciate the award. It must be a persistence award. Don't think it's silver. Hmm. Okay, this is why you keep digging. Look at that. That says Ford. This could be a classic uh, little part for it. Have my doubts. Although, it's got that shine. No, it's not silver, Merrill. Come on. But it is old and it is cool. Ford. No, look. It's more than Ford. Hold on. I see NY down there. I don't know. We'll get a close up. That's really cool. Big change in the dirt. This is filler. It's a quarter. I'm done for the day. I know better to, than to uh, end the video here. I don't like happy, you know, unhappy endings. It wasn't. We found some good stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I needed that silver. So if, we, if we're serious, if we're going for a uh, hundred coins of silver by the end of the year, uh, we got to get more, so uh, got to regroup, spend some time with the family, and uh, tonight we head out. Well, it, it's given me questions too. For instance, if there's so many Wheaties left, and you know, I'm thinking about this as a probability equation, okay? If there's so many Wheaties that are left, and I did not hit silver today, sure, you could chalk it up as a bad day, but is there a detector out there? that really can differentiate the difference. The ultimate cherry picking detector, which I thought was the E-Track, uh, I was wrong about that. It, it, it's got a, you know, nose for silver, uh, but you know. In one quarter mile. I'll be quiet, left. Siri. Um, yeah, but it's not, uh, in anything above 45, I was wrong about. And I'm starting to like really think about, is, is there a sound 
for silver. What does silver sound like? Or is there a detector that can give a specific sound? It's probably tougher if it's deeper. But uh, I, I just, I wanna look into that. All right, let me file this. I have to, uh, yeah, I gotta uh, empty my bag. All right, 13 Wheaties, about $7.20 in change. Mickey Mouse, Yunk, bunch of pennies, and the Mercedes-Benz ring. So, uh, oh, and this thing, uh, and the fishing weight. So, yeah, we're not done yet, but let's keep going. Well, apparently, it's raining, it's pouring. Sean Connery is never snoring. Oh, no, 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 we need to go beach detecting. Well, I suppose yet again, the uh, the cat gods have foiled me. Uh, I, I, I can't get to the dirt today because otherwise I will come home as like a mud man and my wife will either hit me with a hose or smack me upside the head. So we're going to the beach and this is actually perfect weather to go to the beach. This, this is push in weather. We might be having a push in right now. What is a push-in event? It is anything that moves sand. Anything that moves the contents of the ocean floor that is close to the coast inwards and in turn pushes in the coins, pushes in the rings, pushes in the blang blang. So we're going to the beach. Let's see what we get. Let's see, I need a waterproof detector. I mean, I'm not going underwater, but uh, yeah, it, it can do that. Waterproof detector, since it's raining and pouring, the old man is snoring. And uh, let's see, does the Ace Apex do that? Uh, Garrett? Uh, no, not waterproof. Is the Vanquish totally uh, waterproof? No, uh, to my knowledge, no, it's not. Um, we're going Equinox. Oh yeah, note to self, last video I had this in park mode on the beach. Nice job, Merrill. There we go, beach one, let's start in. All right, we've got a beautiful beach formation. Now the question is, has somebody been here? All right, let's read this together. You see those semicircles there? That's a weed line that goes back. So we're on the slope right now. It's sloping, this is the top of the slope. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do long lines down and up and down and up. We're gonna see if anything was left. Early indications is somebody was here and uh, did a good job pulling up all the stuff. Wow, it's funny. The water t uh, temperature is warmer than the air. The air, it's about 50 degrees right now. The water, that, this is no problem. All right, we finally got our first signal. And it seems to be pretty close to the surface. And, oh, I see it. Yunk, we got yunk. Um, top of the slope, okay. Let's, uh, yeah, I, I, I think this beach was hit. I mean, granted, you could go down the beach and you could, you know, hit a, hit a patch, but let's, uh, Obviously, keep hunting. Deep signal. On the board with the dimmy. This is why I don't as much believe in sanded in anymore. These detectors, that went down about uh, 12 inches to get that dime. Uh, these detectors, uh, the 2020 fleet of detectors, uh, <laughs> sanded in is a different story. I know it's a uh, a nature thing, you know, late in the season, but eh, no. <laughs> we just unlocked Wendy's. Wendy's. Has been unlocked. Got another dimmy. Zincon. That's a quarter. Observation, everything that I'm finding is this far back. So I'm still going to check the shore, but the majority of the time that I spend, I'm going to do, dil uh, do diligence further back. And what 
what I really, really want is a patch. Okay. Got our first wet signal. You know, close to the shoreline. So we're going to spiral out from this. I think this should be a quarter. Oh, what's that? Ooh. Catch. And that is possible gold signal. All right, let's do this all in one shot. Taking out my pinpointer. I'm excited. All right, quarter. Great. That's a quarter. Now. Ooh, okay. Okay. That's a dream signal. right by it. What the hell is this? It's a freaking marble. This is also... Hear that? This is also ringing up. In the 10 range. Okay, well, we got a patch. That's the good news. Okay, here we go. Another one. type of signal. I mean the numbers. Oh my god. It's another one of these silver balls. Is somebody messing with us? Of course, considering what Jeff found earlier in the video, it makes sense that we find balls. And two of them so far. Alright, we're in business. We're at the same latitude. Got a coin signal. It's a dimmy. Zinking. All right, we got a uh, surf dime grinny. All right, I just walked through this patch a bunch of times and I found an end on both sides, so I'm comfortable walking down the beach. And we're going to use this information as a starting point. Instead of doing very wide V shapes, I'm going to narrow it up and put it uh, in that range as we go down the beach. Little piece of metal. That's a quarter. Zink. Yeah, you heard the audio go bad again. Uh, it was a monsoon out there today, and whether it was sand or water that got into the uh, speaker of the GoPro, it just made the footage really bad. I didn't find too much. I found a bunch of coins and uh, two balls. Um, but... We still had some celebrating to do. We, we got a car which unlocks Wendy's, and we found that ring that unlocks Taco Bell. All right, it's Taco Bell's or Taco Bell or Wendy's, and uh, I am I'm gonna go Wendy's today. I've unlocked it a whole bunch of times, including today, and uh, you know it's nice to have a Taco Bell uh, surplus that I could go back to and revisit. So. Uh, Let's go Wendy's. Now serving breakfast. Oh, the choices, the choices. I'll try uh, bacon, egg and cheese, uh, biscuit, and strawberry lemonade, please. I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, what was I thinking? Okay, they're only taking cash right now. The lady was really nice, but uh, come on, really? Like, I, I, just, come on, man. We're going Tackle Bell. Plus, I couldn't hear their uh, their their machine there, so they got to do some uh, fixes. You know, I couldn't hear the voice. 
Come on, man. Taco Bell. This just feels right. Good morning. Welcome to Taco Bell. How can I help you? Hey, good morning. Good morning. Um. Yes, we're good. Okay, how can I help you? Can I get a number seven, please? Take another steak. Um, I'll try with steak. Okay, what kind of drink do you like? Um, cherry Pepsi, please. Okay, number seven of steak with a cherry Pepsi. Um, do you guys, you guys don't have Mexican pizzas anymore, do you? Yeah, we do. Oh, you do? They're back. Excellent. Somebody talked some sense into them. What were they thinking in the first place? Getting rid of Mexican pizzas for a week or however long? Somebody talked some sense into them. Yes. Um, okay, I'll have a Mexican pizza, Mexican pizza too. Yep. Would you like something else? Uh, that's it. Any sauce? Um, no, thank you. Would you like to run that to help the students with their education? Uh, no thanks. Okay, 12.36. All right, Thank bye. You. Oh my God, they brought them back. That was the smartest thing they ever did. It took less than one minute for me to get my order. Now that is a fast food establishment, people. The only way that Star Wars was Star Wars was that part two was The Empire Strikes Back. Part two of the original trilogy, you know what I mean. I know they did the prequels and all that fun stuff. But, you know, Luke loses a hand and uh, they, they, it, was, it wasn't the happy ending movie. We got a ring here. You know, I suppose that's a happy ending. And we're eight away from that goal. We're at 92. Uh, and we moved up on the clad goal. We did not move up on the silver goal. But you know what? That's metal detecting. When you go out, you're not guaranteed that you're going to get silver. You can give it your best effort. I dug well over 150 signals, didn't get silver. But uh, that's not a tragedy. That just means you got to channel your inner wily e. coyote and you got to get up and try again the next day. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, everybody who is on the fence for trying metal detecting, and I've gotten messages from a bunch of you. Meryl, I've been watching your videos. You pushed me over the edge. I finally tried metal detecting. That's awesome. Very happy about that. It's been a life changer for me. Give in to that. You will get whatever your investment is back and then some. And uh, I'm telling you, it is the most uh, stimulating hobby. Uh, it is... It, on so many levels, the best hobby that there is. I really hope that you give it a try. Thank you, everybody.